the game you guys obviously have heard this seems like week after week after week, the mobile quarterback, but Lamar seems to be a little bit different than most guys. Um, what about him makes him stand out in that offense? First of all, there's mobile quarterbacks, then there's Lamar Jackson. Uh, I think you put him in a different bracket. You could probably say Jalen is probably is similarly as fast, but you're not going to meet too many quarterbacks that run like like Lamar does. Um, I'd say that because what didn't he break all Mike Vick's records? You know, if you, you look at what he's able to do in the air on the ground, I think that you know he's explosive and everything he does. I mean, there's a reason why he was an NFL MVP. I think that um, everything that their team has formed, you know, to go from Joe Flacco to a Lamar Jackson catered offense. It's clearly worked out for them. Um, you know, he's a pain to play. Uh, and that's that's when he was a backup to Joe Flacco. It would be the only time we've seen him. Uh, and now he's a starter, and I think he does a phenomenal job of what he does. He holds the team accountable. They hold him accountable. And, you know, everything that you saw when Mark was over at – that's probably when I really started tuning in. When Mark was over at the Ravens, um, he, he still is explosive. He still makes those, those deep ball plays. And, you know, now they have Mark Andrews, which would be his – wide receiver one probably especially now that uh i just learned that bateman's out which that's you got, is what it is nope for you guys is it a situation where you look at it as hey show me we can do this again uh, absolutely like against the raiders there's 10 opportunities left that's all we're guaranteed if we want to see postseason we have to capitalize on each one of these opportunities so this game is just as important as last game just as important as whatever comes after this but we are focused on trying to win this game how much stress does Lamar put on you and Marcus to sort of keep him from getting outside? Like, like that, obviously, that, that's the big task, right, to keep him from getting around you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's, 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 it's a tall task. I mean, you've seen him look at defensive ends and still pull the ball and turn the corner. I mean, he's that fast. Uh, it's it's going to be – it's going to take all front seven. I don't know if I can just put it on the ends this week. I think that there's – Opportunities, opportunities for us to take advantage of. And I think there's also uh, times where even being disciplined is not going to work. I think that there's one of these games that we're going to have to fight all 60 minutes to get a win out of. There's still so much left, but was it a relief to finally see it all come together and be like, this is what we're capable of and finally showed it? When it, when it comes down to it, you know, we can't worry about, you know, what, what the division looks like or what this team is doing or where we're at. We have to focus on the minor details. If, you know, offense plays the way they played this last game, if defense plays and keeps that the standard that we played this last game, special teams does exactly what we need to do. We win the turnover differential battle, and that's where you see a lot of things go our way. We win that T.O.P., time of possession, and that's where you see things go our way. So we have to <laughs> we have to be able to do everything we, in, in, that's available to us to keep in control of what we want to. Is it still focusing on the basics to keep those clean, or now can you go back to? Absolutely. I mean, I have I have hopes and dreams and wishes that every game is going to end up twenty four zero. If if every if the next ten games ends up just like this last game, I would not fight it. You know, I would not be disappointed. I would might even be ecstatic. But at this point, I'm so focused on trying to. Uh, um, focus on the minor details because we have a lot of them this week. We have, again, we have a tall task in front of us uh, to try and contain Lamar and the, the offense. I mean, Gus Edwards is playing at a high, at high level as well. So I think everything that they do, we have to be able to try and limit and make them one dimension. Hopefully that's not on the ground. You have nine games. I don't know. Is it, we're week eight. No, this is week nine. Oh, we got, yeah, okay. <laughs> we, got, we got nine games left. Unless you're, I don't know anymore. Look, I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. I don't even, I don't even know. I assumed we, we had eight. I know we got like four games left till bye week. I know, what is a bye week? So we're going, we're going to continue fighting. So, um, yeah, I can't even call that mental fatigue. That was just bad. All right, record. Yeah, week nine, three and five. That makes perfect sense. All right, so we have to, we, we have to uh, try and flip this situation with nine guaranteed opportunities left. Maybe ten is wishful. Speaking into existence. Love it. I know you've been on, obviously, it's, you have to worry about your side of the ball. Just to see, like, Mike, he tried to come back. He tried to play. He goes on IR. Pretty much could be out for the rest of the season. Why would you say that? I mean, whoa. What's it like just, like, for him? Like, I'm, I'm going to stay positive stay, stay, and have uh, wishful or hopeful thinking that he gets back as fast as he can the right way. Um, and whatever it takes for us to get him back the right way. Um, when it comes down to surgeries, you don't wish that on anybody. And especially Mike, who you know he wants to be 
in every practice and he treats every practice like it's a game and in the games he's you know super Mike T can't guard Mike um you just can't wait for him to to, to get right get healthy because when he is he's you know top tier came in week one and was right back on where we wanted him to be